And we're back upon further review. Is brought to you by Key Bank, News Channel 9, Steve Infanti. I'm Chris McManus. Doug Marone's going to be with us in the next segment. His team's 4-2, and two, coming off a win against Tulane. Steve, it was barely a win against Tulane. Uh, uh, not a good team. A team that's gotten lit up by Army and Duke in the last couple of weeks. Syracuse blows a 17-point lead. Give them, give them some credit. They drove down the field and won the game with a field goal. But all of these games are closer than they should be. And, in fact, I would say they have been lucky to win each of the first four games that they that they have won so far this season. You're absolutely right. I mean, you look at the Wake Forest game. Tanner Price goes out there late in the third quarter. Up to that point, the Demon Deacons had dominated the first three quarters. Syracuse comes back and wins. Even the Rhode Island game, it's a tie game in the fourth. Ryan Nassib has to engineer that game-winning drive against Toledo. There was the, the missed PAT that was called good. And, and even, you know, this game against Tulane, the big penalty by the Green Wave hands to the face on Ryan Nassib, the final drive of the game that keeps that drive uh, keeps that drive alive, rather. And then Syracuse goes down, scores, kicks the, the game-winning field goal. No doubt they've been fortunate in all four games that they've won to come out on top. We hear, uh, I think, week after week from the coaches and the players uh, that they are not good enough yet, that they're not far along enough yet to expect to be able to blow out any team on their schedule, to expect to just show up and get a win. Then again, you know, they all know at the beginning of the season they said, our goal is to compete for the Big East Championship. I don't think you can really have those two things. If you want to compete for a Big East Championship, you go out and you take care of business and you run Tulane off the field and put your backups in for the second half. Well, I think it's all part of the process. I think last year this team needed to learn how to win, and for the most part they did. Got to 8-5, and five, got to the bowl game. The next part of the process is try to figure out how to put people away. They had an opportunity against Rhode Island, didn't do it. Had an opportunity against Rutgers, didn't do it. Had an opportunity against Tulane, didn't do it. And, and that's just part of the inconsistency that Doug Marone has to deal with, part of the growing pains that comes with taking a program that was at rock bottom and trying to get to the next level. Yeah, and, but at some point, though, you start, if it's inconsistent every time, uh, you know, at some point it's it's inadequate, I think. And, and so far, yeah, they're four and two, but the, the record is not how they've played. Uh, they have really caught they've, they've caught breaks in every game. They really could be 0-6, you know, uh, if the schedule were rearranged. Well, they've played the level of the competition. I, I think they may be the level of their competition <laughs> right now. Uh, and, and not to say it can't change over two weeks. You know, Marone is 5-1 and one when he has extra time to prepare. The only loss was the first game he ever coached. You right. know, so that counts season openers, bowl game, and coming off bye weeks. He's 5-1. and one. The only game he ever lost was the first game he ever coached against Minnesota, and they lost that one in overtime with a quarterback playing in his first game. So Marone's been very good when he has extra time to prepare. And they do have extra time to prepare against West Virginia, and they get one of their big players back in Chandler Jones. So, you know, we'll see what happens against West Virginia, and maybe we can judge them again after they play a great team like that. We'll have Marone on with us next. Uh, upon further review is brought to you by Key Bank on ESPN Radio 97.7, 100.1, and on television 9.2, Channel 890 on Time Warner Cable Digital.